Hi YouTube, I uh, thought I'd do a, a, a YouTube vid on uh, some of the game books that I've been collecting. I've been collecting Fighting Tattersea game books since 1984. I started with uh, this one. This is my first one. Uh, City of Thieves. Which is practically one of my absolute favourite books. Um, You've got to end up defeating Xanderbone. Um, better cover than the reissues, actually. Um, by collecting uh, a number of objects and stuff uh, in um, uh, Black Sand. A city port of villainy and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's just one of my absolute favourite books. It's a real, real classic. Uh, I mean, I was honestly, if I would love to see this book transferred into a computer game or even a movie. Seeing they're doing a Death Trap Dungeon movie, um, and a, and a um, House of Hell movie, and a Warlock of Forest Up Mountain movie. I heard rumours of, but I'm not sure if that's that's the case. Um, some of the other books that uh, I, I've really enjoyed. Um, Legend of the Shadow Warriors by Stephen Hand. Uh, this one, also an awesome book. It reminds me of the old Hammer Horror uh, films of old. It's a book that's never been re-released, um, not under the um, new publishers. It's the one I really would love to be released again. Uh, uh, I hope that they release both Stephen Hans' uh, books. Um, the this one, Legend of the um, Shadow Warriors, and the and the other one, which is Moonrunner. I hope one day he gets to uh, finish off his trilogy of books with his. Um, uh, uh, I think he wanted to do two two more. One more to finish off the 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 trilogy, which at the moment I've forgotten the name of what he was going to call it. So sorry about that. But yeah, I'm not going to say too much about it. Um, it's just a, a, a another book that I really do love, really do enjoy. Enjoy. That's a film that. Uh, it reminds me of to do with Hammer Horror is the Legend of the Golden Vampires or something like that. Uh, I think it was a... Uh, I can't remember the name quite. I think that was right. I'm not sure. Uh, there's... Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. Sorry if this is quite rough. Um, also, Caverns of the Snow Witch. Another one that... Um, Another classic I really, really enjoyed. Uh, one of the early ones that I've read. Mm, loved it when you've actually, this is one of the first books that actually you end up uh, teaming up with other people. But um, you end up um, with a death spell on, on you and you've got a, a certain time limit or something uh, uh, to try to get it lifted. It's been a while since I played it actually. But yeah, another beautifully written book by um, Ian Livingstone. And I am looking forward to his um, next book that is coming out, hopefully this year, but it's going to be his last one ever, which is a real shame, but still. So I haven't gone really into plot, but it's just a basic uh, vid on these. Um, uh, how many did that make? Uh, Right, uh, there's uh, this one as well, which is Warlock for a Top Mountain. Uh, you're just an adventurer going in uh, to take his treasure, really. Put it basically. Uh, um, this is the first. Uh, a lot of people say the best. I don't feel it's the absolute best in the trilogy of books. But it, it's a real classic and one of the best. I mean, I do prefer City of Thieves over this one because City of Thieves was my first book that I ever actually brought. Um, that was actually at Croydon Hall boarding school, and it was from a um, it's a man named Richard that got me into it. Uh, he did um, 
uh, Sinker said this in another uh, uh, video. He did the uh, did some Judge Dredd cartoons and stuff like that. Uh, really great cartoonist. I hope he's actually gone back to that. But uh, yeah, he introduced me in by um, reading it out to the other kids. He was also into Dungeons and Dragons, which I love. Uh, and I've been into Sight and Fantasy ever since. So thanks to him, really. I've been into the role playing, the war gaming, and the uh, these books. Um, last but not least is probably one of the very best books is the uh, Howl of the Werewolf. Really fair. It's not too difficult. The difficulty rating is absolutely set right for a thirty fantasy book, and it is Jonathan Green's best if not the best game book out there. Uh, I mean, I've had a few attempts. I haven't gone back to it, but I will do uh, sooner or later. Uh, you're just trying to get to the next town, but you go out after, you know, through the night to try to get there. You get bitten by a werewolf, and you got to find a way of actually lifting the curse. It's as simple as, it's, it's simple as that, really. But uh, there's other sort of like mini adventures along the way. Um, it's just so beautifully written. And the actual um, when it comes to the illustrations as well, sort of like that. Absolutely beautiful illustrations. And it's just some of Martin McKenna's best work, to be honest. Really, really great uh, stuff from him. He seems to be the main artist they're using for a lot of the uh, books now, is Martin McKenna. It was no bad thing. I wish they would actually uh, uh, let Tony Howe um, uh, illustrate a book. He's been wanting to for some time, so I'd love for them to at least use him make at least once more. Uh, that's it, yeah, yeah, just, I thought, I know it's rough, I just thought I'd do a quick, um, well not quick, but a, uh, just a video on Titan Fantasy books, which I absolutely adore and love, and may it long continue, and hopefully in the next couple of months we'll see the new Ian Livingstone book, uh, also, I think it's next, definitely next year, the books turn 30 years old so uh, that'd be the anniversary year of Fight the Fantasy so I'm looking forward to some new releases there some new books hopefully more than one new release next year seeing it's an extra special year and hopefully we'll see some um, re-releases that they haven't published yet ever hopefully hopefully they do that but yeah, these are great books. Um, hopefully, in the just before I uh, log off, hopefully, uh, the next four to six weeks, I'll be getting the advanced fighting fantasy uh, role play again. Um, I had it in my hands the other week, but I wanted to pay off a uh, pay off a debt, and there's a few other things I want to get, so I didn't get it. I I got some else instead. But um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, by the end of the month or, or even July, I hopefully have the um, f uh, Advanced Fighting Fantasy book. And I'm really looking forward to running it. Till next time.